Right, well, now I've sorted the, um, the gearbox out uh, and the carburation. I put the uh, the mono, uh, sorry, the concentric back on. Just wasn't working well with the monoblock. Um, I think that's why I changed it before, actually. Uh, don't like it too much, but it's the one that's meant to be on there. Um, yeah, so I think now after riding round uh, it's just getting a bit too much for me back I think with the um, with the drop bars although I do really like the look of it um, like that um, so I think what I'm going to do is put it into touring trim um, I think I'll probably use it a lot more then um, just need to dig out the parts uh, I've already found up the um, the, the top head, headlight uh, shroud things there. Found them up. Um, I've got the rest in boxes somewhere. Uh, I think these were the handlebars. Although they're not that great. Not rust in there, but I might just clean them up for now. Maybe get some new ones later on. Uh, yeah, so I was basically stripping off all this here, these tubes I put on, clip-ons, uh, that's about it really, oh, the, oh, the yes, the, um, the footrests, we've got them, I've got these rear sets on here at the moment, so they can come off. The gear lever swapped to where it should be that way round, uh, which um, it's a bit unfortunate actually because that is at the moment because it hasn't got a reverse cam plate on there, it's one down, three up, which is um, the same as same as the A50. Uh, so they could get a bit confusing, <laughs> swap one or the other, but there we are. Um, just how it is, isn't it? Just have to try and remember. Uh, yeah. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, brake pedal. Yeah, that's different. Um, this has also got the short one. Off here, should be there. I'll see the, the foot rest go further forward. So there's a longer gear lever, uh, brake lever to go on there. Um, I'm obviously going to keep all the, the dry clutch and everything. Uh, just been tweaking the the timing there a little bit, just advancing that slightly. I just took it out for a run, and it was a little bit underpowered because um, it was a bit retarded. Uh, so let's just sort that out. Um, yeah. And the other thing I could think of is maybe some just straight bars rather than the clip ones. But I still need to sort out the front end anyway, so uh, yeah, I think I'll get on and start stripping that front end down. And uh, what I would really like to do is get a much better brake because that front brake is absolutely rubbish. Uh, probably the worst brake ever. Um, especially when you compare it to the twin leading shoe that's on the A50, which uh, that'll stop on sixpence, that will. I'm going to have the forks out. Because um, I want to change these clip ons. Uh, I do like the look of them, but <laughs> the, old, the old back isn't what it used to be. Um, I did think about putting in touring trim. Um, which would mean moving the rear sets and everything, putting the old foot pegs back on. Uh, but I think for now, what I'm going to do is get uh, just some ace bars and fit them in the old clamp, see where they come. Um, 
so um, you know until we get the moment and fit refit the tank i don't know if it's going to hit the tank or not so i'll see what they're like if not maybe some straight bars like vincent style straight bars uh if that doesn't work i don't know whether it'd be possible to fit an a65 top clamp which has the uh the handlebar mounting positions here and then use the clip-ons so the food choices there a few things to think about um what can be taking the taking the forks and everything out getting these off uh, well, I could just take the yoke off, top yoke off, and pull everything off the top. But I do want to do something about these, uh, about the springs. There's very, very soft the front end on this. Probably does need new springs. But what I might just do is put some spaces in the top just to preload, preload the front end a little bit. Um, which will mean obviously taking taking the fork legs out so that'll be the next little thing to do while I'm waiting for parts uh, yeah so that'll be off with the uh, top all these these come out these top um, nuts yeah and then draw the well front wheel off first and i can draw the legs out well, let's get on and do that all right just made a couple of uh spacers they're only about 10 mil thick um just to put some preload on there uh have an old honda stanchion v uh vtr thousand stanchion that is um yeah they could have been a little bit uh a little bit wider uh or unless i could find a flat washer just to go up sorry hit a shot flat washer just to go around there just to give it something a bit more to butt up against so um to do this bouncing on the floor Trying not to drop it because I don't want all the oil coming out. Yeah, so that sits quite nicely over over the stanchion. Um, I think that'll be okay. We'll just have to see it go. Yeah, like I say, a, a bigger, thicker diameter would have um, would have been better, really. I'll try that. See what happens. Um, yeah, that is just to put a little bit of preload on these these springs because they're very soft. Um, and the other thing, I've just made a piece of uh, I'll cut a piece of tube, a piece of aluminium tube, which is the same as the stuff here, just to cover up the um, that part of the stanchion. That nearly went. Um, to yeah to take the place of that piece which is the um uh, on the clip on there right so i will uh put this one in first see how it goes and then uh i've got the other one there you are clip ons are removed got these new little pieces in here which is the same material as this uh, yeah that's about it really <laughs> so, say about that. so yeah just gotta wait for bars now and uh, check clearance is okay and all that and then refit all the brake levers and decompressor and clutch lever and throttle and all that stuff yeah, so ready to try the new bars. Um, yeah, unfortunately I can't get it off the ramp at the moment without the bars. So I can't check the lock until I've fitted the bars <laughs> and got it off the ramp, if you see what I mean. So, uh, yeah, these are what I've got. 
some ace bars um, these are actually meant for a65 clubman those style anything I don't like about them they've got these knurlings on here which are too far apart for the clamps on mine so they will stick out from the clamps but just have to live with that um, the main thing is whether there'll be enough movement or these will clear the tank but I won't know that until they're on so uh, that is the next thing to get them fitted so I'll probably just put the bars on roll it off the ramp or remove could just remove the front um, wheel clamp really might be a better idea and I can twist the front twist the bars make sure nothing contacts and then I'll put all the uh, throttle and uh, all the other bits in there I'll put them reconnect everything uh, yeah but I want to check movement first if not it's gonna to have to be a plan B <laughs> now got the new bars on and I've angled them up a little bit further than I would have liked to have done and even then that's on full lock this side that's just that's not quite touching the tank badge but it's not far off the time you get the um, throttle on there levers and everything that's just just too close the only other thing to do would be um, Curious up here at the moment, <laughs> and the other thing to do would be to do something with this piece here, uh, reduce the lock. That would be the only thing to do. Um, so I might have a look at that. If not, that is going to be uh, back to tour and trim or two tor torn trim um, which I'm not that keen on as I've done all the work to get the um, <laughs> the rear sets uh, you know I welded all these on these brackets and everything to get these rear sets set up um, yeah so yeah I'd have to add a little piece on here each side just to reduce the lock hmm yeah I'm not actually that sure about them bars either I might just slide the uh, some of the levers on uh, yeah the uh, brake levers and clutch levers and just to see what it looks like with the leaves on but they are a little bit wide which I could cut them down that wouldn't be a problem um, yeah, completely different to the clip-ons that I had on there. So, yeah, not too sure. <laughs> have to see. <laughs> so, yeah, watch this space. This may all change. Well, <laughs> I was having a little rummage through the box of miscellaneous bits I've got in the in the other shed, and uh, look what I found. <laughs> Some straight bars uh, I think they actually do look a little bit better than the um, uh, than the ace bars not quite sure about the <laughs> angle of them uh, got this little angle here not sure if I've got these set correctly but um, and they are possibly a little bit long I can soon cut a little bit off there, that wouldn't be a problem. I actually sat on there and it it um, does feel quite good actually. Uh, even without moving the, or removing the uh, rear sets. It's not a bad riding position. So I think, <laughs> before I buy any more bars, I think I might put all the uh, stuff on. 
all the levers and everything and uh, have a little ride like that and see how it feels if it feels okay I'll stick with them if not I think it's going to be um, back to touring bars but um, yeah I don't really like the when I put them ace bars on they don't really like the look of them I really like the look of the clip-ons but they're just really uncomfortable uh, yeah, so I also did find <laughs> another pair of bars. These, but these are inch. These are inch bars, and all my levers and everything are um, uh, seven eighths. I think these are off my Harley that I had because I've got, um, and they were drilled for wires. For hidden wires yeah so they can go back in the other shed and uh we'll get on i'll fit all the stuff on here first um see how it feels and then decide whether i need to shorten them or not uh, but yeah i think they certainly look better than the than the ace bars so might even run with that for a little while well, there we are. Straight bars. Well, straight-ish. Bars are fitted quite wide. Um, just going to have to try it and see how it feels, I think. Uh, but yeah, at least there's plenty of room to put the controls on. Anyway. Yeah, cable routing is a little bit all over the place. Um, not quite long enough to go around there, not a bit too long, it'll be tucked around there, some of them, and I need something, I need a P-clip or something on there, just to stop this um, brake cable flapping about. Um, yeah, I need to put the, uh, put the little mirror on, so we've got that on there. Uh, what else? Oh yes, um, did have to extend the wire for this, this uh, horn and the, uh, the dip. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, it's all there. Ready, <laughs> ready to try out. Yeah, actually I've got this slightly off centre. That just want to go that way a little bit. Look at that. Um but yeah, that's that's just a minor adjustment. Um but yeah, I might even shorten them only by an inch, I think. Any more I think would be too crammed here. Now I've got the room to put controls. Yeah, inch, inch and a half maybe at most. Uh, yeah, gonna have to ride it and see how it feels. Um, and uh, I have just taken the little rear sets off because uh, I just want to put a another mountain hole for the um, for the peg to go in. Uh, they were in there, and they're gonna put them in there. So slightly, slightly lower, but still on the rear set, um, just to make it easy for the, uh, the gear lever really. Um, brake lever weren't too bad, but this, that was just a little bit too crammed here with more upright, I am not even pointing at it, <laughs> a bit more crammed here where the peg was, here somewhere I think, up there, yeah up there. Um, yeah, a bit cramped, so uh, yeah, move it down a little bit, that'll give me a little bit more space. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, up there somewhere. Right, so all I've got to do is wait for the paint to dry on those. I'll just give a little flash over, really. Um, they probably want ru rubbing right down and doing properly again. But just a little flash over so I could give it a try 
and uh, yeah I'll see how it feels whenever the rain stops <laughs> a little bit dark out there at the minute dark, dark and dingy and uh, and wet so uh, yeah trial run another day